coming into the 90s, you, you really, your business savvy just took over. So talk to me about how you got into management. Was it intentional? Was it accidental? And then I want to go into some of the groups that you managed and hit on the Big Ten records. Um, I think, honestly, everything I ever accomplished came out of fear. Um, you know, even fighting my group members, I just, I, I felt like once I put the ball down and I said I'm in 100%, I just knew it was no way to go back. So if it's a problem and we not fixing it, then we gotta fight it out. I ain't going back. It's too late, I'm here, we gotta do it. Let's get it on. Today, tomorrow, and the next day. Whatever we gotta do. And then I realized, like, if you play sports, and it's a team sport, you in the locker room with other personalities. So you can't just be all about yourself because you gotta be cohesive with everybody else. And my first business was explaining to us as individuals, we gotta move like a team. We can't move like a group. Because a lot of groups break up, but there's a lot of teams in the 80s that actually stayed together. There was no switching teams in the 80s. Absolutely right. If you, if you had a favorite team like the Steelers, right? You knew everybody on the Steelers, right? That's a team. So sometimes I was trying to bring the basketball stuff to the group, which to me was business, because how do groups fall apart when they don't move as a team? So I, I was pushing that early, and you know, sometimes it worked, and, Sometimes it didn't, but only knew one way to win. And it, it's just best to just lock the door and get it popping, and then come out and say, we good, let's go. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.